pagination using PHP and MySQL. We already have built the basic application of inserting, editing and deleting. I'll just show you the display of it using the pagination that is navigation. This is our database. Its name is software. The table name is apple. It has two attributes namely id and name. id is the primary key and an auto increment field. We have these many names here. I have just taken the company names here for the demonstration purpose. Let me open it on our interface which is present inside technotype folder that is index.php. This is how it is retrieved all at once. We need to break down into a segment of five. Let me do it with the segment of five and do the pagination here. I'll give the numbering below this below these company names to make more sense with uh, usability so this is the index file this is edit and this is delete file and db.php is the file which helps us connect to the database as simple as that now this code that is while loop is the one which displays the company names and the id of the companies and the one which is underlined here is the simple query which fetches all the data we need to apply limit to it that's it that will do the pagination work for us let's do the simplest of all i'll display one two three here and later on the next button would be next for your application you go you 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 can go up to 10 numbers and then provide the next button I'll take page is equal to 1, I'll pass the value 1 once some, someone clicks on this 1 and I'll pass 2 once someone clicks on 2 likewise 3 and then next I'll show what next does, obviously it does increment the pages page numbers and pass the incremented value there but let's do that after seeing the 1, 2, 3 after making these one two three work later on we could increment the page numbers save it and let's see the interface okay this is it one two and three look at the status bar here next doesn't have any value so it doesn't show Now, if value is set for this page, that is the standard PHP variable dollar underscore get of page. Let's do it like if it's not set, what we need to do. Before, before that we need to know how many values are present inside the database so let me count the number of entries present in our database that is select count of star from apple remember apple is the name of our table now fetch the result the result would be present inside dollar row of zero because we have only one result that is count of star which would be present inside dollar row of zero let me cut and paste it above that is in the at the beginning of this page Here already we have res variable so let me change it to something else I'll remove e here and o here just to keep it unique now let's see if dollar underscore get of page is not set let me make it not if this is not set maybe the user entered this page for the first time then what we need to do is the actual count that is dollar row of zero 
actual count the number of entries present inside the database minus 5 this is the starting point to display the items that is entries in the in the database entries present inside the table so select star from apple let me apply the limit here limit start from dollar start and continue till five records it's not from here to here but from here to five five records if dollar underscore get off page has been set <coughs> then take the actual number of records present inside the table that is dollar row of zero subtract it with the number passed by the user that is one two three the navigation the pagination number passed by the user which is present inside dollar underscore get off page into five this would pretty much solve the problem of one two three pagination numbers so let's save it and take a look <coughs> just calculate this would show if dollar row of 0 is 15 15 minus 5 is 10 from 10 to next 5 that is 10 to 15 items would be displayed here take a look by the way we are showing the latest entry first if you want to get the first entry first you need to take another attribute called date and store the date while you insert the data and then display with the order by clause also where order by date then we apply the limit i'll show it in the notes on technotip.com so we got an error which shows there are no more items to fetch from the database a simple technique would be to halt the execution of the script by giving relevant messages that is more entries to come more entries coming stay tuned i may give something like this which would be more relevant to the user so let us see it see we have okay three no more elements so it shows this message get back let's enter some more records this is dynamic one so we need to do this there is no more records to fetch please come again later such messages we have to enter because this one is a dynamic application you don't know how many entries will be present how many more entries to come so that is a good practice let me add some 10 more company names random company names now they are famous but just randomly coming to my mind Kingfisher Airlines, India's best known. HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, and some more to go. SBI, State Bank of India, State Bank of Mysore, Twitter. How could we forget this? LinkedIn. Did we forget Yahoo there? blue dot the shipping company let us see this first now it gets up to six for seven it shows the message okay let us enter some more now here it is six come to this next button it shows page is equal to seven that is the next entry let's give vrl travel agency by the way inserted successfully look we have an error here in the next button sorry i couldn't get to this issue while shooting the video so i had to redo this voice narration i have given the solution to this on our blog technotip.com below this video there is a link get to that link to technotip.com and you get the solution for that problem and much more awesome notes about this that would be helpful Zappos 
Flipkart. Flipkart is India's Amazon. It's called like that, maybe. Amazon. Yahoo. How could I forget this? eBay and it's another another service, PayPal. Let's stop here. You know how to enter. Let's see how the next button works. Here there is four. See the status bar. It's five. Now five. And the status bar six. It keeps incrementing. You could do some CSS stuffs here and remove the link, the underline. You could increase the font size, change the color, hover. You could add a whole lot of things which would look much more fancier. Now let me remove this ID here because that is not much relevant to the user. Let me just display the company names. So this is the basic simplest pagination techniques. Please like it on YouTube and share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter or LinkedIn wherever possible. Please visit technotip.com. The link is present under this video. Please comment there for any of your problems and we have an official forum at technotip.com slash message board. See you there. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video on YouTube. Thanks a lot.